Hello guys, welcome back to ESP Stack. In this tutorial, we will see how we can use an Arduino Uno to create uh, or develop a door lock. So in this tutorial, we are using a fingerprint sensor. Also, we are using a keypad. So both are working together. So hopefully you would like the work. So move towards the demo part. Hello friend, uh, I hope you are doing well. Uh, so finally we have managed to complete your project requirements. So I will give you a short demo of it. Uh, so here you can see that uh, we are using an Arduino Uno. Then we are using a uh, biometric fingerprint sensor. We are using an I2C LCD display. Then we are using a solenoid lock, this is like the door lock that we are going to use. Then we have a relay. We have uh, a keypad uh, so a lock can be uh, locked and unlocked both from the fingerprint sensor and from the keypad. Okay. So let's start. Uh, I have already registered my this uh, finger. So let's try with this one. See, when I press put my finger, found that found ID number two, and at the same time unlocks the uh, unlocks so it's like so, so the dialogue has gone inside okay. so it's activating the relay and the lock is going inside of the okay. okay so next uh, I will see if we could use the keypad uh, so if I enter the password that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, press enter it creates the relay reverse so if I press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, press 1, 2, 3, so the next part is uh, like how you gonna uh, start on your user okay. so for that uh, First, uh, press this A button. This is for encoding a user. And then press this one. It says that uh, it the user and enter an ID from 0 to 127. It means that on which ID you want to register some person. Okay. So, on 1 I have already registered some person. Let's start with ID 2. So, I have entered the ID 2. Then I will press enter. Okay. Now it's asking me to put the finger on the sensor. I believe this uh, this thumb is not registered, so I will put my thumb on it. It says remove the finger. Okay. Place the same finger again. Okay, so it says that the ID has been stored, and it says the found ID too. So let me put my finger this one again. Okay, it's working. I remove my finger. This put my finger. Remove my finger. It's working. So let's try with another finger. So enroll a new user and I will enter an ID number, let's say 3. And this time I will register my this finger. So I will say enter. Move the finger. Place the same finger again. Store. It's starting with. So start with thumb. like our demo so moving towards the code part if i go to the vs code so here is in project arduino finger 
So in the source file we have a three files. First is biometric, second is keypad, and third one is the main.cpp. So biometric function actually contains all the biometric related uh, functions. You can say that it's like a fingerprint related functions, all the functions. And in keypad.h we have all the function related to the keypad.h. So in keypad.h we are using like a custom keypad format. So you can change here from what uh, the keypad format is. And the main file is like main.cpp. In the main file we initially using the include arduino.h then we have include the biometric.h like this header file. Okay, then we are initialized including the wire.h. After that, we are uh, include the liquid crystal I2C display. It's actually an uh, 16 cross 2 I2C LCD display. So, after that, we are including the keypad p.h. It's like a header file. This file. So, we are initializing in previous release. After that, moving towards the setup function. In setup function initially we use uh, we are just initializing the LCD methods and we are using the lock pin in mode as an output then we are using digital write high as this relay works on a cathode so we use the lock pin as well. After that serial dot begin we just begin the serial monitor moving towards the down we can see that here we are initializing the fingers sensor fingerprint sensor so after that we are checking is it working or not working so if found it will print found fingerprint sensor if not it will print the did not found the fingerprint sensor so the main function are working in a loop first function is like an enroll user in enroll user function we are just enrolling the fingerprint right in case we can enroll up to 7 fingerprint 7 to 10 fingerprints so this function is used to enroll the fingerprint initially. After that, we have a function get key. Get key is actually the uh, this function gets the value of the pressed value on the keypad. So any value pressed on the keypad, we can uh, get this value by the this function get key. After that, uh, we are using release function and after 100 release wait, we will just get a fingerprint ID. Then we are again assign the previous release value to current one. so the main functions are get key and get fingerprint sensor so if we go to the get fingerprint sensor we have a different switch cases so it's like in comparing the finger uh, print with the saved fingerprint and if value exists it will return an id so this is it hopefully you would like our work please subscribe and share the video